Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Saturday, May 21st, 2016. We have newly arrived souls in both the Lynn life and the Jamie body mind to the point that they're clearly speaking English as a second language. That's true. So they're unfamiliar presences. In addition, we have a string of very interesting messages received here in the physical. These lives are beautiful bringers of messages, and the messages have to do with lack of integrity at various levels, rules that themselves have lies built into the format of the rules, people who don't enforce the rules, and people who are blatantly uh, coming in and doing things that they know are not what the rules are trying to get them to do. That's true. We're really clear that this is not just about what's going on here in the 3D, that this is also about what's going on in the larger levels. So our intention today is to get to the root cause of whatever these messages are and to resolve whatever the disharmony is, whatever the out of alignment presences and energies are in such a way as to upgrade the standards of integrity to that which will actually work to manifest the divine plan. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. What now, in order to resolve whatever these messages indicate? That's true. You are sending us messages, messages about rules that basically say, well, we assume that certain categories of presences are, quote, professionals, unquote. That's true. And therefore they are above the rules and they don't need supervision. And yet uh, our first experience shows that's not the case. That's completely untrue. That's true. What now? What now in order to upgrade the standards of integrity to that which will actually work to manifest the divine plan? Well, quite clearly the rules need to include a provision of how to deal <laughs> how to deal with these situations and what they're showing is something they've shown before when the Buddha was teaching some 2500 years ago in Planet Earth Dating. Yes. Uh, and he taught for 35 years and at first his teachings were very simple and then <laughs> over time the Pali Canon included many 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 rules that basically boiled down to the equiv equivalent of don't steal the other monk's shampoo in the shower. That's true. <laughs> and what not is, is be appropriate, don't be gross. That's true. And the Buddha found that he couldn't trust his monastic community to be appropriate and it's actually pretty absurd for uh, real estate agencies to pretend that realtors have more integrity than Buddhist monks. That's true. It doesn't even make sense. That makes no sense. No. So, upstairs, there's somebody who is pretending that whatever realtors represent. That's true. <laughs> have more integrity than whatever Buddhist monks represent. That's true. Somebody can see this. I see eyebrows going up. I see a lot of eyebrows going right. up. Right. Yeah. Ooh, something just shifted. Yeah. So let's apply the Pali Canon rules, the rules for monastic living as laid out by the Buddha to this situation, shall we? Yes. Oh, wow. These are 2,500 year old rules. That's They've true. They've been tested. They are, I think, tried and true. <laughs> That's true. Right? Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't cheat. That's Do the right true. thing. Do the right thing. Live by the spirit of the regulation, not just the letter of the regulation. That's true. Do the right thing. But now, in order to upgrade the standards of integrity to mm -hmm. that which will actually work mm -hmm. to manifest mm -hmm. the divine plan. Live streaming up. Whoever these realtors represent and the realty associations, whatever that represents, uh, they're not living with integrity. They're not l acting like professionals. That's true. That's not what professionals act like. That's something else. That's true. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone up there? who's interested in changing this situation. They're interested in corking it. They're interested in changing the situation, but what they mean by that is put a cork in it. That's true. Uh, okay, well that's not what we meant, and uh, uh, I see that. I said that 
uh, poorly. Let me try again. I can do better. Is there anyone up there who's interested in setting higher standards for behavior for whatever the realtors and the realty community represents? Oh, I'm very busy. No, I'm nobody very busy. Seems Back's turned. That's true. Mm -hmm. Live streaming up even higher. These people don't want to. Let's start to burn that which is untrue. Merging, merging, merging. These people are in our airspace. That's Therefore, true. as bodies, we have the right, and some might say the responsibility, to tend our soul energy. They are in our airspace, meaning That's they are true. part of our soul energy. And so let's intend to upgrade the standards of integrity that we're living by by burning integrity below a certain level. That's true. Let's just set the monastic code as taught by Gautama, the Buddha, as what we want to live by. Would, would that... How yeah, would that's that? true. Yeah, 2,500 years of teaching, it's tried and true. We live by the monastic code as set by the Buddha and all of our souls do the same and so we'll merge fully with all of our souls and what do I know? I know that uh, some 10 years ago uh, 11, 12, almost 12 years ago now uh, this body mind and Asha who was living here at the time uh, made the pledge to live by the monastic code of Thich Nhat Hanh's community the monastic code not the lay code that's true and has done so for all that time with very few exceptions. That's true. So uh, for the body, uh, this is not a stress, this is not a strain, and now it would call the souls to join it, join it living join. to that standard. And it has lived fully by that monastic code since 2009, which has been seven years now. That's fully true. to monastic code for seven years. Join me. And what we can do is run a screen for that level, however the body's been living, whatever it is, That's but true. to that monastic code, or better or, or worse, better whatever or worse, the body right, has actually been living. Screen all the rest and ask for a hand way up high on the central axis, somebody who is also living to these standards. Is there anybody who's also living? There are multiple hands who say they're living to there those standards. There are hands who say they're willing. Okay, That's so here, here's the screen, so continue to pull it up. Get these people out of our airspace. Asking hands who also live to that level of integrity or higher to take these screens higher. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to juice the next batch. Yes, that's what that I would really like yeah, so to let's, do. Uh, we have the right, and some might say the responsibility, to tend the energy of the airspace. So reach way up high and juice that. Just juice that. All those who are not actually intending to live to that level of integrity, but who say they are, are hypocrites, right? That's true. So let's find hypocrisy in ourselves and tend to heal hypocrisy, intend to heal hypocrisy for all of us. Me too, me too, me, me, too, too, me too, me too. How am too, I exactly too. like that? We're never neutral. We always share the patterns. That's true. And the question is, to what degree, That's what true. level, how deep do we have to go to find that answering vibration? It's there somewhere. It's there. It might be smaller, finer at a deeper there. level, but it's there. That's true. What do I know? I know that if we get upset about what somebody else is doing, if it triggers an emotional reaction in us, then we have that pattern to the, to the degree that it's messing up our lives. That's true. If we can observe somebody doing something and it's just, wow, there's somebody being crazy and there's no charge, then we're not sharing that pattern at a level that it's influencing our daily lives, but all we have to do is drop into our subatomic selves and it's there. That's true. Right there. Right there. Now what level is that? Is it sea level zone? No. Is it Greenpeace? No. Okay. So right at the top of basic training. Oh wow, that same vibration is way up high. That's Ooh, true. You people aren't really living to very high standards. I'm sorry to tell you that. That's true. 
juice and send that energy down to basic training, down to where it's actually a blessing, down to where it doesn't create an itchy sensation in a physical form, but actually feels like a divine blessing. That's true. What do I know? I know it isn't just the rules that are that are uh, an issue. That's true. Uh, and what's the biggest issue? Well, the biggest issue is that the rules presume some level of self-regulation. That's true. And that there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of self-regulation going on in any dimension, really. That's true. We see it in the nature realms where there's no... Uh, interest in tending the needs of the greater good and acknowledging that the needs of the greater good matter more than the needs of individuals and groups. That's true. Everybody's just worried about me and people, people like, like me, me, quote unquote. And it's the That's same true. here. What do I notice? That uh, me and people like me from the realtor's perspective includes other realtors. That's true. And that's how they're defining themselves. What do I know? Then that means that the definition of me and people like me uh, in these presences way up above uh, is too tight. They're defining themselves too small. That's true. Uh, what do I know? I know the law of cause and effect is real, and if they're defining themselves small, then they should be living in the smaller dimension. Got it. Okay, let's uh, get that skillet a screen That's and true. set it for the right size of whatever level they're defining themselves That's as. True. If they're living small, we'll just set it for how they're defining themselves. That's true. And draw them down to those levels. Those levels. That's completely reasonable. Completely reasonable. I feel it going through many portals. Uh, it's down into sea level zone going through those portals. That's wow. true. And there's a lot of wiggling and trying to escape and That's cheating. That's true. Uh, let's just get it down really fast, uh, down to Greenpeace and down to basic training. Because that's basic training. The front door is always open. Get down there <laughs> and start practicing search for truth procedures, techniques, and see what happens. I think what these people are getting at when they say, and why would that be, is that knowing the truth isn't the same as taking actions that are appropriate once that truth is acknowledged. And what's missing That's is true. potato. Acknowledging an inconvenient reality. Ooh, that's an ugly truth. Uh, not using it as an excuse to avoid our responsibilities, but using it as motivation to address our responsibilities. That's true. Uh, developing an attitude of experimentation and curiosity and starting to take action that we will need to change many times as we're developing a protocol that actually works in that particular set of circumstances. That's true. Uh, taking action to build commitment and then becoming resolved to resolve the issue and then taking actions until the issue is resolved. That's true. And all of this has been labeled potato. And why is it labeled potato? Because in the new beginning it will be commonplace. That's true. And, and how do I know that? Uh, because if it isn't commonplace then we don't really have a new beginning. That's a self-proving statement. Right, apparently they were arguing that something was a new beginning that wasn't oh, actually that's a new true. beginning. Mm. All right. That's not a new beginning, that's, that's something, something else. else. There's a big crown opening feeling. Yeah, that actually seemed to help. That's true. Maybe we can close now. They're showing me how we've been thinking that pain came back across the line of the awakening and he definitely came back across what he thought was the line of the awakening that's true and so in terms of the brownie points that he accrued he gets them because he thought he was coming back across some big line that's and true. he was coming back across a line but those people there are still just reading about the uh, work to manifest the divine plan as if it's n of nothing got nothing to do with them that's true. and they aren't jumping on the effort and trying to manifest the divine plan even though that's what their soul plans commit them to doing that's true that's not an awakening that's, that's something, something else, else. It's kind of like all these dimensions that uh, 
are being revealed as non-physical. That's that true. people are presences above are convinced are physical. They think they're living physical lives. That's true. And then when tested, they discover, oh my goodness, this is not a physical dimension. It's not anywhere near as dense as what they're calling ground zero. That's and true. while you and I think that this is the physical dimension, and I really do think really that this do. is a physical dimension. That's true. We could be incorrect because they also thought that they were living in physical dimensions and they were definitely incorrect. That's true. I think it's physical, but I could be wrong. That's true. And so the presences in the future think they're living in an awakened beginning. Um, quite clearly they aren't. By definition they aren't because there is an inconvenient reality and they aren't acknowledging it and therefore they're not living in an awakened state. That's true. They're still living in denial. That's not an awakening, that's something else. What do I know? I know that one of the first quotes of Siddhartha after he became the Buddha uh, is from a, a comment that somebody made to him as he was walking down the road. People could tell there's something really unusual about this person and they asked him, what are you? Are you a god? And he said, no, I'm awake. That's true. And what he was was a person who was being a good example and a good teacher of mindful living. That's of true. acknowledging inconvenient realities, not denying them. He wasn't big on taking appropriate action, but he was trying to get people to just stop the crazy and acknowledge what was really going on. And 2,500 years ago, maybe that was what was needed. Now, unfortunately, it's go time here on planet Earth. We need more than just acknowledging the inconvenient realities. We need to take action to correct the situations. This is wrong. This must change. I'm going to do something and to do something until the situations are resolved. That's true. The soul who's here is so egotistical that he doesn't think there's a significantly higher vibration anywhere. What a jerk. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Yeah, it's quite obviously not true. Wow. It's all of the characteristics that are needed. It's not just ability to discern the truth. It's also willingness to do the work and courage That's and true. humility and selflessness and trust in higher powers. And if you want to deny there are higher powers, then you're the wrong person for this job. That's true. Ooh, Ooh, out he goes. That's true. It's got a really dizzy world turning upside down feeling. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. Waving the soul plan. Ooh, that's good. This Waving the soul here. plan. This one here. 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 This one here.